Hi, what's up? I'm DJ Sixsmith. You're watching the Sit Down. Christina Elmore, Gabrielle Graham here with us. 20 is the new hit show on BET. How are you both doing? Doing great. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Got it. Christina, why don't we start with you here? This is like a really cool world that Lena Waithe has created. And especially as Black women being able to star on the show, that's really huge and really awesome. So what has this experience been like for you so far? It's been a dream. Honestly, it's like literally my dream come true. Like after um, the last show that I was on End It, my husband asked me, he's like, so what do you want to do next? And I was like, well, I don't get to pick. I auditioned for all my work, so we'll see. I'll take what I get. <laughs> and he's like, no, but if you could decide what you wanted to do, what would it be? And I was like, I would love to do a half hour comedy on cable with Black women about Black women. Um, and so 20s literally is my dream. So it's been, um, it's been pretty magical. And working with Gabby and Jojo and Lena and Justin and Susan and all our producers and cast and crew has just been, it's been really wonderful. Yeah, it's this perfect setup and you have so many different awesome people involved with it. Gabby, yeah. for you, what has been the best part so far? Yeah, I would agree. It's definitely a dream come true. I, um, I was in acting class and my acting teacher was like, you need to be specific about like what you want, the type of work that you want to do and the type of people that you want to work with and just make a list. And Lena, I think it was about, about a year ago and Lena was at the top of my list. And, um, and I had auditioned for a few of her things before and I was like, I love her work. I love her writing. Like I want to work for her so bad. And then it just happened. I just happened to get 20s, which is, which is amazing. And it's been an amazing ride. And um, I've learned so much just being a Canadian and mm -hmm. this being the biggest thing that I've done so far. I definitely struggled a bit because um, it was so new for me. But just the fact that it's been such a huge learning experience and I've been exposed to so much has been great, so. That's awesome. Gabby, I'll follow up with you here. What has been the hardest thing and what has been the biggest thing you've learned so far? Um, the hardest thing? Um, yeah, I think, I think it, I definitely had some serious imposter syndrome <laughs> um, coming to America and just feeling like, I had worked hard to get there, but then once you get it, you're just like, oh, it wasn't exactly what I was expecting. It wasn't, and there's so many things that I'm not in control of. And just learning to just ride the ride and be grateful for every little moment because, you know, this is something that I've been dreaming about so, for so long. Um, so yeah, the hardest thing was just, just like enjoying it, being in the moment and really soaking it in and enjoying it because this is what I've, I've worked for instead of worrying about everything. Um, and then the most enjoyable thing was the, yeah, the opportunity to meet Christina and Jojo. <laughs> They're amazing people, amazing, amazing people. I'm so grateful. And the opportunity to work with Lena. Um, she is just incredibly inspiring. And she's, the work that she's doing in the industry is the work that I want to be doing. So it, it further motivates me to, to further infiltrate and do, <laughs> and do my you work. Yeah. yeah, no question about it. Christina, how about for you? You've worked on Insecure and, and Fruitvale Station and so many different great projects with amazing creators. What's it about the world that Lena created here that inspires you the most? I think what I love about this show so much is that, and people say this a lot, they're like, oh, you know, it's universal in its specificity. But honestly and truly, I think that we have not seen this kind of portrait of a woman, a black woman, a queer woman, a masculine presenting woman, um, this up close and personal. And to see how her story, while yes, specific to this character in this time, it's just really the story of people trying to pursue their dreams and like go after something and work hard for something. And that's all of us. But to see it through this particular lens is just so cool um, because not only is it sort of groundbreaking it's just i'm so i'm thrilled when i get to see more of people's stories that i don't get to see often so like to see this specific black experience that we kind of forget about um in such a refreshing funny quirky way has just i'm just honored to be a part of that um and then to see this kind of friendship too i think a big part of our show is not just like pursuing your dreams but like doing it with your chosen family um and to see a beautiful friendship between three black women that's not catty it's not um it's not predictable it's not stereotypical um it feels really refreshing 
Yeah, why don't we explore that friendship a little bit more because it's such a big part of the show. So Gabby, what is most important in terms of kind of unpacking that friendship between the two characters, especially for you two characters? Um, I think because Mia is so, she's just more of like the, the calm, calming, less worrisome one in the in the group. And I think maybe Maria is a little bit more like everything has to be like a very specific way. She's very like, um, I think it creates a balance between the two. Like, I feel like when you look at it, people think you wouldn't think that these friendships would match, but they do because of the the different personalities. Just, they just bring a perfect balance. So, yeah. Um, yeah. TV exec, yoga teacher, you kind of need each other both there, right, Christina? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. It's a good mix. How about the uh, the other cast members here, too? Because it's like Big Sean, Amon Shumper, Rick Fox, Vanessa Williams, like so many amazing other people. Christina, what are some of your favorite stories so far from the rest I of the I mean, time? every week when we would get, um, we would get the scripts and then you'd find out who was playing the role. We'd be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> really? They're going to be on our little show? That's amazing. Um, and so, but it was also really refreshing because, you know, I've watched a lot of TV in my day and you can have big names come on a show um, to draw an audience and to, for a specific thing and not, not necessarily to help tell the story well. Um, and so for all of the, these big, bigger names that were on the show to also be really grounded actors who, and those people who were new, like Big Sean had not done this before and yet he was committed to like getting, to being good and was. Uh, and then to have people who were just sort of legends like Vanessa Williams and Rick Fox like reuniting on our show. That was just, I mean, a dream. But it, nothing was done without thinking of story and like really serving the story and moving it forward and not just to have people on there for, you know, because they have a name. Um, so it was great to work with so many of these exciting people. Iman was, I did a lot of work with him um, throughout mm -hmm. the season and just so committed to doing it well and being present and then also just the funniest, most um, refreshing presence on the set. So it was great. Yeah, it's, it's pretty interesting because whether it's Iman or Big Sean or some of these other people, Gabby, like there's people who do multiple things really well. They're these yeah. multi-hyphenate people. So Gabby, especially for you coming to America from Canada, like what's it like exposing yourself to all these great people who you can do a lot of different cool things? Yeah, I get really very easily intimidated and I thought I would be more intimidated, but I, I was actually really motivated and inspired. And it made like I now I want to, I've done dance, a bit before like I've trained in dance a bit before but I want to like take it more seriously I want to take singing lessons I want to take on all these like hobbies and interests um I kind of need to slow down and just focus on my lane of acting <laughs> but um yeah I think it's amazing I think it's good so uh you know taking this full circle here like in your 20s there's so much going on in your life with work with your personal relationships like there's a ton to unpack so Christina when you think about just 20s in general the show what are some of the most important things to focus on? Because it can really get you bogged down. You could be riding that wave right into your 30s. Like, what do you focus on when you think about the 20s? Um, when I think about my 20s, <laughs> um, I think about a time where I was really, I'm, I'm very similar to Marie in a lot of ways. I think she has a heightened version of <laughs> some things that I have in my own life. Um, and sort of that need to like do A, B, and C, and then I can get to D, and then I'll go to E, and then so just follow this path, because if I do it exactly right, then I'll be good and I'll have my life figured out. And so I spent a lot of my 20s in a career where none of that actually worked. Um, yep. <laughs> I don't know why I thought, I was like, okay, I'll go to the right college and then I'll go to the right graduate school right after and I'll train for theater and then I'll move to LA and I'll be at this and I'll have a, and then I'll guest star and co-star and blah, blah, blah. And none of that actually worked. I mean, I did the things I had control over and then I would be surprised when suddenly my life didn't look like I imagined it would. Um, so I wish I had spent more time just exploring, discovering, deciding, instead of deciding 10 years in advance what the next step was going to be, allowing myself to have experiences that led me to the next step. Um, and so I'm trying to do more of that in my 30s. But um, I think for a lot of our characters on this show, too, I, I want that for them. Mm -hmm. That's really well said. Gabby, how about for you? What do you focus on the most when you think about people going through their 20s? Yeah, well, when I think of Mia in her 20s and comparing her to me, I think she's a lot more spiritually sound than I am and, and less worrisome. And because of, because of that, she's just 
more fearless in general. And that just, I think it, it helps her to just live in the moment. So she's a yoga instructor, so you know that's her practice. And I feel like a lot of the times I'm so in my, I'm in my twenties right now. So I'm so focused on getting to this goal um, and getting better and, and wanting to be better that I'm, and it creates a feeling of, of lack constantly. And I'm not looking at you know, what I have accomplished so far and what I have improved on. Um, so I think that's the most, the biggest thing for me in my 20s is just, just looking at the little things that I have done, the things that I have accomplished and seeing that I have gotten better and I am moving forward and there is progression and just, you know, enjoy every moment. Yeah, I'm right there with you both. Well, thank you both for jumping on here. Looking forward to more of 20s going forward on BET and uh, we'll talk to you down the road, all right? Thank you so much. Thanks for having us.